Guts? Froco? Wodes? If the following three terms sounded like a different language to you, that's because it is. I am going to introduce you guys to some Yale terms, some Yale lingo, and I've separated them in alphabetical order because why not? Get it? Yale starts with a Y. All right. Yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. First of all, we have the AACC, which stands for the Asian American Cultural Center. There's actually a bunch of cultural houses. Here's the AFAM house, African American house. There's also CASA, LA, LA CASA for Hispanic American students. And then there's also the NACC, which is the Native American Cultural Center. Pretty cool. You can get a job there. You can hang out there. There's always a bunch of food. They also host a bunch of events there for like parents weekend and stuff like that. So all the Asian parents gather in the Asian American Cultural Center and start comparing their kids' stats and things like that. All right, so bios, B for bios. A bio is short for autobiography, which is when you share your entire life story to other Yalies. And it's typically done in the context of bio societies, which is autobiographical societies. So these are one year secret societies. They're typically for seniors. There are some two or three year societies. But anyways, if you guys are curious, check out this video where I talk more about secret societies. Typically bios can be anywhere between two hours to three, four, sometimes even six hours long. There's no limit. People just talk and they share their entire life story from the moment they popped into existence to high school and what they've been up to at Yale. It's a really cool experience. It's actually been one of my most treasured memories of all time. Next up, we have the buttery, which is where people hang out to grab food. The buttery is a place. You can also work at the buttery. You can get a job there. Basically late night food is in every single residential college. Residential college is just the fancy Yale term for a dorm. At the buttery, you can find food like chicken dillas or pizza dillas, or sometimes people will make like Nutella, banana, peanut butter sandwiches. So it's kind of like comfort food. It's really affordable, less than two, three dollars. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this content, don't forget to consider liking and subscribing, especially because, well, this video took me a really long time to make and also because my channel is really, really small. So every single bit helps. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Camp Yale, the affectionately known period from when res college is open to the start of classes. Camp Yale is when all the shenanigans start happening. Lots of romances, like freshmen are reinventing their entire identities. There's always drama. People are searching for alcohol. CC stands for Cultural Connections. Essentially, CC was this really cool program that like a lot of my sweet mates had already done together. People share mini bios. They share something called hometowns. So people will talk about 45 minutes to an hour just sharing their life story with each other. It's a great way to bond and people get really close really fast. And uh, I was not a part of that and I'm kind of salty about it, but it was five years ago. So the seed spelled C-E-I-D is the Center for Engineering, Innovation and Design. It's the Yale makerspace and you can waltz in, you can take classes there. Sometimes they offer classes, sometimes they offer workshops. There's a bunch of 3D printers, a bunch, maybe two or three. The funny thing about Yale is that the 3D printing is free, but normal printing you have to pay for, which is absolutely ludicrous. Credit D. Credit D is an option at Yale. I'm pretty sure it's available at, at a lot of universities where you can take up to four classes at Yale and they're pass fail. But this is actually a kind of a sticky situation because if a class is really easy, then you actually do not want to take it credit D. You want to get that A and boost your GPA. So you want to pick a class that's kind of like you don't have to show up and it's easy to get a B or a C, but it's not so easy to get an A. DS, ha ha ha, Directed Studies, AKA Directed Suicide. Directed Studies offers a select group of first year students an intense interdisciplinary introduction to some of the seminal texts of Western and Near Eastern cultures. The heck does Near Eastern cultures mean? Basically, DS is a really intense program where you go through like the Western canon, you study philosophers, you study ethics, and yeah, you have to write like an essay every week. You have to write like crazy, but the students who go through it, you, what can I say? Misery breeds company. They just walk out stronger, I guess. F is for foot, which is the freshman outdoor orientation trip. <laughs> I thought it was training, but it's trip. So it's basically an orientation program. It's a backpacking trip led by two older Yale students. And yeah, I think there's like a five day option, seven day option. There's different day range options. Again, I wish I had been a part of it. it sounded really cool. People also share hometowns during foot adventures. If you guys end up going to Yale, honestly, if you guys go to any college, like pre-orientation programs are pretty cool. So I would recommend participating in them. Froco. Froco is a freshman counselor. 
It's short for Frosh Counselor. Frosh is also what we call fresh men. Now we call them first year because Yale's liberal and progressive and stuff. Your Froko is essentially your savior, <laughs> your hero, your older sibling. They will do everything for you. They are trying to look out for you. There's been cases on a Friday and Saturday night where, you know, let's say hypothetically, Kevin may or may not have walked in a little bit tipsy slash more than tipsy. Anyways, the Froko's will cook food and they have like pizza, they have pancakes. I remember one time I was a little out of it and the Froco literally made me like M&M chocolate chip pancakes during Halloween. They're not gonna like report you if you're in trouble. If they see that you're like struggling academically, they might try to reach out and schedule something and really just try to put you in a great position to succeed. They're amazing. And if you are a college student, like let's say you're a sophomore or junior, then actually I do highly recommend becoming a Froco or a residential RA, residential advisor is what they call it because it is a paid job at the university. So you get to live on campus for free and save tens of thousands of dollars and you get to be like a hero to younger uh, naive frosh which is also nice g is for gut and a gut is an easy course it's a class that is known to have light workload easy grading or both Astronomy courses are guts at Yale, also a few languages like Indonesian, Italian. Portuguese was also kind of a gut. It was really, really easy at Yale and not a lot of people took it. The issue with guts though is that sometimes they're too popular because the workload is so low and then it ends up being kind of difficult to get into. You can actually see the difficulty in the workload on a website called Course Table, which was also made by Yale students. It looks kind of fresh now. I think they just got an upgrade. I'll show you guys and pull it up and you can see the kinds of courses that are guts. I stands for intramurals. What are intramurals? They're little sports club league games that you play against other residential colleges. And they have sports every season. They have volleyball, they got spike ball, I'm pretty sure. You got like basketball, maybe. I know they definitely have table tennis. And my personal favorite, I'm really, really sad that I never got the opportunity to do this one, but I highly recommend it. It's intramural water polo tubing, water tubing polo. Water polo, but you have floaties. It's pretty cool. I was sad that I didn't participate and not a lot of people do participate. Like they feel like they have other priorities, getting a, getting a job, good grades, whatever. All that is not important. What's really important is the Ting Cup and eternal glory in the pools of intramural sports. That's what really matters. R is for reading period, which I used to think that there would be a ton of parties because reading period is the week before finals and there's no class. I was like, wow, knock it back. But no, it's not like that. Yale kids are actually surprisingly studious and a lot can be accomplished in one week. I've seen students learn an entire 10 or 12 weeks worth of material in like five days. You channel all that caffeine into, <laughs> into actual knowledge. It's freaking nuts. Safe Ride is one of the most bougiest Yale things ever. There's an app for Yale students where if it's really late and it's cold and it's far away, you can literally request like a shuttle taxi service and it will come and pick you up and transport you from one dorm to another because some of the dorms are really far away. Like a 15 or 20 minute walk in the winter is tough. And especially if it's late at night, there is still like preconceptions or people think it's dangerous late at night. New Haven really isn't much more dangerous than the average city in America. But anyways, yeah, you can call a tap ride or a safe ride. And it usually takes like forever to arrive. It will take like an hour for this taxi to arrive, but it will arrive <laughs> and you can get delivered to your destination. Very Yale, yes, very snowflake. Moving on to the T's, T is for tap. What is tap? Tap process, tap night. Basically, it is juniors getting selected by seniors for secret societies. Woo, very exciting. I got tapped by I think two or three societies. It's quite ominous. Sometimes they'll like slip a note under your door. Sometimes your friend will literally just text you be like, hey, you wanna be in my society? Yeah, and then it's quite informal. It depends on the society. It depends on the circumstances. Tap process also ranges from society to society. So it's different for everyone. And ultimately it culminates in tap night, which is really exciting. I can't share the details of what happens in our society, but just know that it's fun. It's kind of like a celebration, a little party between the old members of the society and the new, newer members of the society who are being inducted in. Toads, woads, soads. Toads is short for toads place. It's an actual destination at Yale. It's a venue where artists have performed, comedians, Kanye has performed there. It's like New Haven's spot. It's also like a club. And on Wednesday nights, hence Wodes, Wednesday night toads, Yale students can go for a low fee of $5. I think if you're over 21, it's totally free. And then uh, yeah, you dance your woes away. You just sweat out all the anxiety and stress and toxins from just like existing in a college, it's pretty awesome. And then you have SODs, Saturday night 
toads. Okay, this is when schools from outside of New Haven literally will take shuttles and they'll show up and you'll see these girls in like really short dresses, even though it's like 10 degrees out in their heels and there's a line out through the door every single Saturday, especially at the start of the year. Oh my goodness, it's nuts. W, whiff and poofs and whim and rhythm. The whiff and poofs are quite famous. I'd be surprised if you guys haven't heard of them. And, but one thing you guys probably didn't know is that acapella at Yale in general is really, really big, really serious. And there's a lot of money in the program where for instance, if you get into the whiff and poofs, you get to travel for like an entire year for free. You go on tour and you perform all around the world. And then the female version is whim and rhythm. Although it used to be like whiffs were all boys and whim was all girls, but now they've kind of changed that taboo. They've broken it and there, and there was a girl in the whiffs. So yeah, go liberals. The UAG stands for YUAG. Don't call it that though. Don't call it the YUAG. Everyone calls it the UAG, which is the Yale University Art Gallery. Super duper dope. I highly recommend checking it out because I mean, it's totally free and the artwork there is like splendid. Also a great date spot. If you're like in New Haven and you wanna take someone to go and just like walk around and like chat with them and get to know them. When I was at Yale, I used to go at least like twice a semester because they have new exhibits. It's just so well run and it's a beautiful spot. And it's so close to campus too. It's like two minutes, not even. Then we have IRA, which is the Yale International Relations Association. I figured I might talk about it since so many prospective Yale students are interested in global affairs, international relations, that sort of thing. So IRA is this giant umbrella organization where you have a bunch of other smaller clubs nestled underneath. And these clubs typically have to do with Model UN, organizing Model UN competitions for high schoolers. There's one for Europe. There's the one that takes place at Yale which is called Y-M-U-N. -M -M There's one for Yale Model UN Taiwan, which is the one that I was a part of. And yeah, I would recommend being a part of it because there's a bunch of cool events and free food. And all you have to do is like participate in one small position and you get access to like all the array of resources. It is one of the largest clubs on campus. There's also smaller stuff too, like the Yale Globalist, where if you're interested in publishing international relations articles, you can do that as well. And then there's also a group that teaches international relations to high schoolers. It's a really big organization. It's really cool. I recommend you guys like learn about it as if you're applying to Yale and they, I think they have a website and all that kind of stuff. I'll attach it in the description below. Yeah. That is all for today, my virtual little siblings. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. I hope uh, this was resourceful. I hope you learned something new. I hope this helps with your application to Yale, with your endeavors. Maybe you just wanted to hear more about the school. Whatever it is, know that I am rooting for you. Your success is my success. Take it easy, stay out of trouble, and I'll catch you at the next one. Pa -pa 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 Peace.